Hello and welcome to another video by myself, James Lawson Smith. Now today is going to be a quick video because I know some of you guys over this last uh, sort of YouTube changes are having a bit of trouble trying to find out how many hours of watch time you have to see if you're sort of close to eligibility or, you know, whatever. I know if you don't meet the requirements at the moment, there's a nice big banner across the top of your page on a lot of your uh, sort of back end pages are telling you that you're going to be booted out on February 20th. But I'm going to show you how you can switch your watch time analytics from minutes to hours so that you can better know how many hours you currently have. So all you have to do, log into YouTube, click on your icon in the top right hand corner and pop along to Creator Studio. Now this will take you to your back end where it tells you all of your statistics and everything. And you know, as you know, you if you're looking at this, then you've probably got this same banner that I've got along the top. Yes, I am being booted out of the YouTube partnership program as well. Anyway, uh, then you go along to analytics. Then we go on down to watch time. The default view is watch time by minutes. Now this is the default, so if you've not changed this, this is what you're going to see, and this is where a few of the issues are, because the requirement now is you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time, and a lot of people you know, are getting confused of you know, how to actually find that out. So what you can do is click up on this little cog which is the default settings. I'm not too sure why that is. YouTube, like grammar, seriously. Anyway, click on the cog up in the corner and you'll be given a couple of options. Now you've got currency, t time period. Now this is the standard sort of first view. So as soon as you go in, that's what it's gonna show you. So in here, you can have it, you know, any of the normal settings that you have within there. I'm gonna leave that on the last 28 days because I'm gonna show you how to get the last 12 months as well in this video. So frequency for charts and tables is daily. So that's basically, you know, you want it to show you per day what you've earned or how many views or whatever. I'm gonna leave that as daily. And the one you're interested in is unit for measuring watch time. Now, if you switch this from minutes to hours, it will switch to hours. So I'm gonna hit save. It's gonna reload the page. And there we go. In the past 28 days, I've had 70 hours of watch time. Now, to get the previous 12 months, you go up here, back to the right hand side, and you'll see it says the last 28 days. Now, if we just click on the little drop down, now what you can do is do the last 365 days, which would be the last 12 months. So we click on there and we will see how many hours that we have had in the past 12 months. So there we go, I've had a total of 1,719 hours of watch time. So that is how you can very quickly see how many hours of watch time you currently have. So as you can see, I've got a long way to go before I hit the 4,000, and I don't think I'm gonna make that before February 20th. So if you like this video, I'm gonna be making a lot more videos to help you guys out. And if you have any questions, please don't forget, you can leave a comment down below. And please feel free to subscribe, share this with your friends, and please give this video a like.